buddies are AI helpers full of intel or practical help. And to show us how they work is creative director Clint Hawking. You can see we're always in first person in the game. We don't have a third person view. If this vehicle was to break down, you know, rather than popping into a menu and spending some points to repair it or something like that, I have a, an animation on the engine behind me where I can actually fix the vehicle in real time. You can see the engine right behind me back there. Again, animations in and out of everything, so I'm not popping into a menu, I'm not, we're not teleporting the avatar, you're always moving in the world. This is the place where I've been sent to meet Carboni. So you can, again, you can see it on the map, it's the blue area there. And that's Carboni. Over here. Are you familiar with the chemical dump? It's by the rail spur. There is a canister there. It's marked military defoliant. Please bring it to me. So while you attack the greenhouses, I will spray defoliant on the jungle. When the plants die, the troops will lose their ground cover. No place left to hide. Now that we're sort of south into the savanna and out of the town and out of the jungle area, you can see just how big and open this world is. I'm free to go basically any, anywhere I can see, I can go. You see that radio antenna up there? That antenna is like marked on the map on the other side of that big mountain in front of me. So it seems really far away, but it's actually only maybe 150 meters away. I can, obviously I can go there. I can go anywhere in this world, anywhere that I want. That'll potentially start a fire as well as uh, take some guys out over there. I'm just going to get the hell out of here before this gets worse. That was a vehicle patrol passing by, so not only was I dealing with the guys on the mounted weapons on the other side there, the patrol happened to come by, they saw what was going on, they joined the fight. So uh, Carboni asked me to come to this chemical depot. Basically, the, the one faction hired me to destroy some greenhouses. Carboni's suggestion was, don't just go destroy the greenhouses. Go get this chemical defoliant that I know about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, uh, this is an example of what happens when you have buddies. The hell with this? You're crazy to try this on your own. We didn't meet him yet because the rescue was active before the save game, but this is my buddy, Yosip. And basically, your buddies come in and bail you out if you get into trouble. He's going to get me behind cover. He's going to give me a chance to patch myself up. Whoops. And then he's going to basically try and hold his ground so that I can get back on my feet. Now, Yosip is a character just like everyone else in the game. If I shoot him or if he gets shot by the enemy and dies, he's dead. Just, oh, I got part of the engine of the truck that ran me over stuck in my stomach. Oh boy. I'm gonna try and get some of their weapons. Yosef, like I said, Yosef is, is autonomous. He's not like a, I can't give him orders or anything. A shame, because things don't quite work out. More from Far Cry 2 later. Oh boy. Oh. 